Basal skull fractures, as the name implies, is a fracture through the base of the skull. So here's a skull, and if we look in the inside, we see this complex here. The ear is located right here. Here's the ear canal. And as we look on the inside, we see the petrous pyramid, if you will. The inner ear is housed right where my finger is. A basilar skull fracture occurs with severe trauma to the head. If you have an impact directly on the skull right around the ear, you can fracture the skull and a fracture line can extend from the base of the skull and that fracture site can extend directly to the inner ear. In this condition, it is not uncommon for the patients to have hearing loss from blood accumulation in the middle ear. It is also not uncommon for the bones behind the eardrum to become disjointed or separated. So the patients can then develop a conductive hearing loss. The fracture line usually ends at the region of the geniculate ganglion. The geniculate ganglion is an important ganglion for the facial nerve. These patients can also develop facial paralysis. In addition, patients can also develop spinal fluid leakage from the ear. As the dura is torn, spinal fluid leaks from around the brain into the ear canal and then out the ear canal. Oftentimes this requires observation, sometimes this requires surgical correction. The skull fracture I just described is called a longitudinal temporal bone fracture. If the impact or the blow to the head occurs in the, from the front or from the back, you can develop a fracture line directly through this Petrus pyramid. This is a much more severe condition. These patients usually have loss of consciousness, have severe brain injury. The fracture line goes right through the Petrus pyramid, right through the inner ear. Facial paralysis, total hearing loss are common.